Hey guys, Chris from Provo Beast Audio Installation, and today we're doing front door speakers on a 2016 Ford F-150. In this install, we're going to show you how to remove the factory door panel and mid-range in the door, as well as tweeter up in the A-pillar up in the dash area, and replace them with a nice aftermarket set. Let's get started. So the first thing that we need to do to get this door panel off, there's quite a few seven millimeter screws in the door, all hidden by panels. So there's two here, there's two here, there's and actually two down below as well. We also have to remove our uh, sail panel here. So we'll do that one first. Everything is kind of held on with clips. I'm gonna pop this on free here. So really we've got two main clips here and two guiding clips there at the bottom. Now what that does is it exposes one seven millimeter bolt right here. Go ahead and remove that. Now using a panel tool, the first thing we need to remove is this cover here. You have to start on the side facing the cab, not on the back, because there's a tab here and you'll break it if you start from this end. Now there's a little protrusion there that you can actually get a panel tool in or a flathead screwdriver. Okay, here we go. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six clips on this little teeny panel holding it in. One big one in the front and the little ones on the side. And then here's that tab that sticks out. Remember that goes in first. So that's why we have to start on this end. Okay, now next thing here, we have a little panel down below that we have to remove. Two clips in the top, two tabs at the bottom. Now at this point of time, it's all seven millimeter screws. Okay, so with all those screws removed, the rest of the panel is just held on with clips. Now, you can kind of give it a good tug here on the corner. All relieve. And then we have to lift up and off the, the door top here. Okay. Now what we need to do is disconnect our switch, our switch, and also um, our handle actuator. So for the electrical harnesses, there's a little tab you press in. So with these here, you just press in the tab and it pops on out, same thing with this one. And then this one's a little bit more tricky, but it's actually very straightforward if you know what you're doing. So on the back, on the back of the handle, there's this guy that pops in. To get this on out, there's a little lever here that you pull on down, and basically when you pull that down, this pops right on out. And then you will re reinsert it in the exact same position when we're ready to reinstall the door panel. So at this point in time, we have our speaker. Again, more seven millimeter bolts, there's all four. There we are, there's our mid-range. So, with this out of the door, let's head over to the bench and show you the parts that we're gonna need for our aftermarket speaker installation. Okay, so for the speaker replacements, first and foremost, the speakers that we've decided to go with are these Alpine Type S components. These are six and a half inch component speakers with the separate mid-range for the door and then tweeter for the A-pillar. Um, we did a full unboxing and demo of these, so if you want to see these a little bit more in detail, we'll have a link in the description as well as a card up above. But to accommodate the mid-ranges that come with this kit in the doors, what we need are bracket adapters as well as harnesses. So looking here specifically at our speaker bracket adapters, we need to go with this Metra 82-5607 bracket adapter. Essentially here, this will take the factory 6x9 or 6x8 and convert it into a six and a half inch hole, which is great. That's exactly what we need for our chosen mid-range. Now for the wiring portion in the door, we've gone with these Metra 72-5602 uh, wiring harness adapter. So it'll plug right into the door and the other end plugs right into the speaker. So what we're gonna do is get our brackets out of the package along with our harnesses here. And we gotta get our speaker mounted within the kit. Now with these bracket adapters, they can accommodate uh, six inch, uh, maybe a little smaller up to six and three quarter inch. 
Um, and so what it does for the smaller size speakers have these little tabs inside. They're not going to fit with our speaker, so we can just break them off. Okay, so what we've done here is essentially built our speakers in the brackets. All good to go. We put a little half inch hole here on the side just so our wiring harness had a space to go through so it didn't get pinched back behind the door uh, and the bracket. And then we wrapped our harnesses in some tested tape just to protect them a little bit more. Got everything hooked up here on the back. All right, as for the door side of things, we'll get to the tweeters here in a moment. But for the doors, these are ready to go. Let's get them installed in the truck. Okay, so we're back with our new speaker here. It's all mounted. You saw us get this all assembled here on the bench. At this point of time, it should bolt right back up into the same location. Okay, so that's all in. Looks nice and clean. Bolts up great. Now, really at this point, you're welcome to sound dead in the door. Um, you can put in some fast rings. It just really depends on what you're looking for in terms of sound quality here. This is as far as we're gonna go on this install for this door. So at this point of time, we're gonna do a quick test and then put the door panel back on. Okay, so this is done and good to go. At this point of time, what we need to do is now transition up into the dash area, start working on a tweeter. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is pop our A-pillar off because our tweeter is mounted in the A-pillar itself. Um, it's mostly held in with clips, but this uh, grab hold here has two 10 millimeter bolts that we need to remove first. So I usually just like to kind of pinch, pull off the little covers, just like so, just out of the way. All right, so with both these 10 millimeters now pulled, um, at this point, we just kind of give this a tug. And it should release the clip here at the top. Lay it down, come on out. Disconnect your tweeter harness, just like so. And now we have our E-pillar free. There is our tweeter. What we need to do is now head to the bench and show you how we're gonna mount our new tweeter in the factory location. We have our tweeter, let's go ahead and remove it with these two Phillips. Okay, so with that tweeter removed, now we gotta figure out a way using the brackets supplied to just best fit our aftermarket tweeter in there. Now there's a couple of different ways. They also supply different brackets, depends on the speaker that you're using. It's all up in the air, right? So there's many different ways that we can mount it, but ultimately we want to use those two mounting locations. So in order for us to figure out a way to get this mounted in this location for our speakers today from a sheet of uh, 16th inch ABS plastic, what I did is I actually made my own little tweeter mount. Now what I did initially here is I traced the outside shape using the outside shape of our flush mount. And then using a two inch hole saw, I just cut a hole in the middle. And I'm still refining this and cutting this, but essentially here, I'm gonna shave this down a little bit and then I put two holes and I'm trying to match that spot where that original tweeter was. But once I get that just right, I'm gonna flush mount this in there. And this Type S speaker has a nut that'll tighten it on the top. And then I can just screw it into place. So that's kind of what I'm working on. I'm gonna keep modifying this uh, adapter here and get it uh, perfectly fit. And then we're going to get our speaker mount. Okay, so I think I, I'm pretty close to the shape that I want to get this bracket to fit right where uh, the factory one was. Now, unfortunately, we have a little ridge here that's getting in the way. So I'm going to trim this piece here ever so slightly just so this can set a lot more flesh. Okay, with a little trim done, I think that's right where I want it. So I'm going to go ahead now, put the tweeter in our bracket. Okay, there's our tweeter all mounted in the factory location. 
it's nice and solid it's not going anywhere and the uh, nice thing is it's totally removable we didn't modify anything else so if customer wanted to go ahead and put in the factory tweeter they can it's all good to go so this should just unscrew if needed so at this point what we need to do is now prep our wiring now we're going to hardwire this right into the speaker leads we don't have a harness adapter for the tweeter and basically here we don't need all this extra cable in the in the eight pillar as well so this is our input this essentially comes from factory wiring and we're going to cut this a little bit short and just solder right onto our tweeter and get rid of all this extra wiring. Okay, so I cut out a ton here. Nice and short lead. This will hang out back behind the A-pillar on the foam. And then this will wire up to the direct leads back behind the A-pillar. And we'll show you what wire goes where. So at this point of time, we're done here. Let's head back to the car and get everything reinstalled. So we're back here in the truck. Here's our factory wiring. What we did is we cut the harness off. We left just a little bit on the plug just in case we have to ever reattach it. Essentially on the passenger side. So this is, according to our schematics, white. But it's... Uh, it's kind of been gooed over from the uh, the tape that's over it, so it kind of looks like a tan. But it's a tan and purple is your positive, and tan and orange is your negative. On the driver's side, um, just straight tan is your positive, and tan and brown stripe is your negative on the driver's side again. We don't want to solder up here. It's really close. We don't want to burn the dash, so we're going to use some crimp caps and uh, crimp on our Twitter leads. We got those crimped on. We use a real crimper. Got a nice crimp in those crimp caps. Those are done and good to go. So at this point, we can fold everything back in this foam here, back into this A pillar and start reassembling the pillar itself. Okay, that's it. Let's go ahead and do a final test for you. Okay, that's about it for the install. Um, everything's sounding great. Uh, we're running about 75 watts RMS at the speakers, which are perfect. Um, if you wanna see how we've done the rear speakers, go ahead and check the description. We'll have a link there, as well as a card up above. Also, if you wanna see how we installed this radio, uh, we also did an amp and sub in this as well. We'll also have that link in the description as well as a card up above. Thanks again for watching. Uh, be sure to hit that like button if you like what you saw and uh, subscribe. We post great content on the channel all the time. And we will see you in the next video.